Hi, I'm Navid Ansari and this is the important video, most important video about GUI design in Unreal Engine 5. I will show you how you can design your GUI so when you install it in whatever phone or whatever computer with any aspect ratio, with any screen size, it will work. So without any further ado, let's begin. If you follow my videos about GUI design in Unreal Engine 5, you know that I did create a blueprint widget class and in my character, I did create that and add it to viewport. So now, whatever I add to this widget blueprint class, like border, like button, like checkbox, it will show it as a hot or GUI to user, to player. I want to show you the important box in here, that is this scale box. And what this scale box is doing, let's just add a text to it, for example, and make it size to content and let's just change this text size to make it bigger like this and compile and run our game and what this scale box is doing according to the size of this window that we have in here it will change the size of this text box or button or whatever you put in there okay it will change the size of that and let me show you you can see that it's the size is getting smaller and smaller until till it reach its position x and position y and you can see that the size of this text is changing okay and now it's at position x and position y and it can do it so what we can do about that the most important one if you want to um, put something at top left corner like this okay and let's just change the size of this text to something uh, smaller if you want to put it at top left corner put this anchor point of this scale box to the top left corner so if you play it you can see that it's there and how much we change this screen size you can see it get bigger and bigger okay when our screen size is changing this is getting bigger and bigger okay everything is working so for example let's just again add a, a scale box in here and we want to add health bar for example and let's just use this progress bar for adding health bar okay and like this so in here let's just say fill all and in progress i did talk about it a lot let's say this is our health bar okay the important thing in here because we want to position this health bar at top right corner i think it's better to put it the put the anchor point at top right corner and now let's just compile and run our game and you can see it's always at top right corner and you can see the size of it will change according the screen that is playing on it the size of the window that it's playing on it okay so let's just again change the size of it like this make it smaller like this compile this for you to see it clearly and you can see when we change the screen size you can see it's working fine the text block is at top left corner and the health bar is at top right corner and if we increase the uh, screen size you can see that the size of this text block and this health bar will increase with that okay and the next one that I want to show you, for example, let's just add another scale box in here and we want it to be at center always, okay? So let's just add a button to this scale box and in this button, let's just change the size of it. So I said to fill, fill this scale box and now let's just change the size of this scale box like this. I think that's enough. And just guess where we should put this anchor point. It's better to put it in middle center like this, okay? And it will be measured from top and bottom at the middle, right? So if we put this, for example, here, and if we compile our game, you can see this button will be always at middle. And you can see it, no matter how we change the size of our game, the button stays there. Of course, no, the heart is not beautiful. And uh, we need an art design to, for example, design a button for us, design a health bar for us, uh, give us a cool font for our text blockers. And in future videos, I will show you how you can implement them in advanced section of this playlist, okay? So let's just leave it that for now. The next thing, I think you get the idea. If you want to put something at bottom left corner, you should anchor it at top left corner, okay? So you get the idea how it works. Let's just delete everything. I want to show you uh, something else. The next thing that I'm going to talk about is this size box, okay? It's exactly like a scale box, but you can limit it, okay? So for example, let's just add a text to this and make this size box, size box to size to content. And let's just change the size of this in here so you can see it clearly okay so let's just put it here i don't want to talk about anchor point i want to talk about the uh, the options that these size box give us it's exactly like a scale box but you can give it a limitation to do so right so 
before we move on let's just add another text box because because i want to show you something else so let's just add a text to it again size to content and change the size of this like this and let's just put it here and i want to change the anchor point at all the sides okay and now if we play our game you can see that the size of this text box is changing a lot you can see it and at this time you can't even see it why because it's changing its size to match this offset left offset top and offset right and offset bottom because you set the anchor point at all direction no it has offset left offset top and because these rules that is in here is much important than the text this will apply and that will cause the text box to be a small and at some point we can't even see this see the text okay so let's just change and you can see it's so small you can see it and in this size box you can set a minimum desired width and minimum desired height and you can set the minimum and maximum desired values so it's exactly like a scale box but with this size box we won't allow it to be a lot smaller it can, uh, we will allow it to go off the screen but we don't allow it to to be very small right so let's just play with this option so for example this minimum desire width and this minimum desire height okay so for example we say that we don't want it to be less than 200 less than 400 we, we don't want it to be as smaller than this and what it do it won't allow this text block to be a smaller than that it can get bigger than that but it can't get a smaller than that it doesn't matter what you put for this anchor point let's just do this and again it won't allow it to be a lot small so nobody can see it but it can get bigger so you can set this max desire width and max desire height as well so for example i don't want it to be bigger than 300 and 400 for example okay i don't want it to be bigger than this okay so at some point it won't get big bigger than these values okay i don't know you can see it or not but that's the way that unreal engine work with these size bikes i hope you get what i'm saying just practice with these size bikes and a scale box a lot so why because maybe your game uh, want to be installed on iphone it want to be installed on android phones that has a lot of screen sizes so this is very much important to you to anchor these widgets right and use this scale box and size box as well i hope you like this video please if you want to help me hit that like button and subscribe to my channel it's my honor to have you at the end of this video thank you very much for watching bye